Hi, this is Dan Elder with Kidasa Software Support. Welcome to this tutorial video about vertical links in Milestones Professional. There are a few different ways to add vertical links in Milestones Professional. The first way is to use a large plus tool. So I'm going to have the large plus tool selected, and then we're going to do three clicks. The first click is to select the originating symbol. So the vertical link is going to originate from this symbol. And then I'm going to click on the vertical link I want to use from the bottom of my toolbox. And then I'm going to click on the symbol that I want to connect. So it connects this symbol to that symbol. Um, just to do that again, I've already got the plus tool selected, so I can click on this symbol if I want to connect it to another symbol. And I'm going to click on this vertical link again, even though it's already selected. And then I'm going to click on this next symbol. And then you can see now uh, those three symbols are kind of linked vertically. The second method for linking symbols with the vertical link involves selecting the symbol. So I'm going to just use the arrow tool so I'm not accidentally adding anything. I'm going to select this symbol, integration. And then we're going to go to the vertical link sub tab inside the selection tab. And then you can see in here, there's no vertical links currently coming out of this symbol. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this as the from symbol over here on the right side. So I'm going to say set. So now this symbol is where the vertical link is going to come from. So now we need to select a symbol to set to the to symbol. So I'm going to click on this next one, mission operations, and to symbol, I can set that. And once these are both set, then you can say connect now. So I'm going to click that, connect now. And now you can see um, these two symbols are connected with that same vertical link that we had selected over there. Now that I've got these two connected, I can also connect uh, system test planning if I want to. So if I just select system test planning, I can unset the two symbol and then click on set. And now it's gonna connect that original symbol, the integration with the system test planning. So I'm gonna say connect now. Then you can see that link comes all the way from that original from symbol down to that system test planning symbol right there. So I've opened up a different schedule to show you the last option for adding vertical links. Um, if you go to the insert tab, there's an option vertical links between selected task rows. So I'm going to select some task rows. I'll just select all these. And then I'll go to the Insert tab. And that vertical links between selected task rows. So I'm going to click on that. And you can see you have a lot of options here. So uh, the default is just to link um, finish to start with normal symbols downward. Uh, so that's what I'm going to choose. So basically that's going to link um, this finish symbol with this start symbol. Um, these bars, they all have invisible symbols on the end. So it's going to look at the last normal symbol on the row and link it to the first normal symbol on the following row, since we're going downward. So I'm going to click on OK. And then you can see it added those vertical links uh, from finish to start right there. Looks pretty good. If you want to change the formatting of the vertical link, you can double click on that vertical link in the toolbox. Uh, so this is the vertical link that we had selected, so I'm going to double click on that. And then you can see you can change a lot of options here. You can change uh, like the color, uh, the line pattern if you want to make it a little bit different. Um, also the shape, uh, some of the shapes have arrows on the end, uh, so just keep that in mind. And you can see there's lots of different options here. Uh, hopefully um, one of them will work out in your case. You can also change the arrowhead size if you want to. Um, and then show on top, that's going to show on top of uh, any symbols, so just keep that in mind, that is an option. And then you have uh, a few other options, like if you have multiple pages, um, you can try to do off-page connection bubbles, and um, just depending on how you want it to look, that might be a pretty good idea. And you've also got rounded corners, uh, which will try to smooth some of those um, corners for you. So I'm going to press OK. 
And then you can see that modified the um, black line to that red arrow that I chose and it made it a little bit thicker. If you'd like to switch out what vertical link a specific symbol is using, um, you can just click on the symbol that the link originates from and then just click on the new link that you want to use. So in this case I can click on this one and then you can see that symbol switched to use that different one. So if I want to switch it back I'll click on that originating symbol and click on that arrow again. You can also modify individual vertical links. Uh, that's kind of an override. So if I want to click on a symbol, for instance, uh, this symbol, you can see in the selection tab, in the vertical link sub tab, um, you can have up to actually five vertical links coming out of each symbol that you can modify. So if I click on this, I get an override option for the color. So I can make that um, just have a blue color instead of a red one if I want that for some reason, just for that individual symbol. And then you can also change um, you know, the thickness if you want this to look a little bit different. And then actually um, the shape as well. So um, I believe these shape options are just going to come from whatever you've got um, selectable down here. So if you don't see a shape in here that you want to switch it to, uh, you're going to want to pick one on your toolbox. So you can see I just modified uh, just that individual symbol um, to have a blue color with uh, that shape on it. Uh, the last thing I can talk about is how to get rid of vertical links and how to hide vertical links. So if you want to get rid of a single vertical link, um, you can either click on the symbol that it originates from, and there's a little break link option right here and you can see that uh, vertical link disappeared so you just click on that symbol and click on that little break link uh, right there you can also right click on a symbol and there should be an option to clear vertical links again this is the originating symbol so it kind of erased that vertical link right there again that's right click say clear vertical links and also, if you're not seeing any vertical links, make sure you go to the View tab and turn on Task Links. This little checkbox right here, you can just temporarily hide all of your vertical links if you want to. And if you check that back on, it'll bring those vertical links back. And that's pretty much all I know about vertical links. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at kidasa.com and visit our website at kidasa.com and have a nice day.